What I'm going to talk today is about a series of common questions that we hear all the time at the law offices of Mayor Newton. I've kind of went around the office this morning and did a poll of my staff, and uh, I've kind of asked everybody, what's some of, some of the normal questions you hear about people that are calling our office, want some advice, and generally have some fears or whatever? And they've given me a list of uh, eight really good questions. Um, the first question is, can I file on everything or do I have to list everything? If you do file bankruptcy, you're under oath and you're required to list all of your bills. Whether you pay a bill back or not, that's up to you. Uh, and we will be glad to talk about that at your free initial consultation at Mayor Newton. The next common question we get is, can I keep my house? It all depends on whether you have a significant amount of equity in it uh, or whether you're current on the payments or any number of factors. Generally, we find that as long as you can afford your mortgage payment or a modified mortgage payment, everybody keeps their house unless there's significant equity in it. Will my bankruptcy get approved? 99.999% of our clients will get their bankruptcy discharge. The only way you cannot get your discharge is if you're hiding assets, you're not telling the truth, or you're doing something to evade the Chapter 7 or Chapter 13 trustee. In Chapter 13, you, you will get it approved generally as long as you're paying in what you can afford, which is called disposable income, and meeting the best interest of creditors test. But generally, your case will get approved. Can I, the next important question I get is, can I call the, either the Chapter 7 or Chapter 13 trustee? The answer is absolutely not. Uh, you are represented by our firm, and we will do all the communications to the Chapter 7 or Chapter 13 trustee's office. That is part of what we agree to do as part of our services to you, our client. And we have, we have a excellent communication streams with all the Chapter 7 trustees and the Chapter 13 trustees, so we can generally get your question answered uh, quickly and expeditiously. Um, can I file with my spouse or will it affect their credit? You can, if you are married, you can file with your spouse or you can choose not to file with your spouse. The real question we get a number of times is, will it affect my spouse's credit if she or he does not file? It will not, uh, as long as the spouse is not on any of your bills. If there is an adverse impact on your spouse's credit, all you got to do is report it to the credit bureau, do a dispute, and it should come off. The Another question we get is, how much debt do I have to file? Do I have to have in order to file a Chapter 7 or Chapter 13 bankruptcy? Generally, there is no minimum amount. Uh, we generally, if you have less than $2,000, would suggest that you either pay your creditors or try to work something out or simply advise them that you're judgment-proof. But generally, by law, there is no uh, minimum amount. If you do have any sort of debt and it makes you nervous or you're worried about it, get in here to the office of Mayor Newton for a free consultation. Uh, the other question we get is, can I transfer some property to my family members so I don't have to tell the trustee? Absolutely not. All family transfers, especially within two years of filing bankruptcy, will be highly scrutinized by the Chapter 7 or Chapter 13 trustee. It's never a good idea to make any transfers if you are in debt until you consult a bankruptcy insolvency professional. And we suggest here at Mayor Newton. Thank you very much.